A reliable source from the presidency reveals that the federal government is desperate to release Mazen Nandekano at last. They have realized that Nandekano is not the reason why there is insecurity in Nigeria. The United Arab Emirates released the names of the sponsors of Boko Haram and other terrorist organizations on the 15th of September 2021. The likes of Namdekano and Sunday Ibuho's name were not there, but the federal government swept it under the carpet. The current vice president of Nigeria, Kashin Shetema, was accused on the national television, the Chinese television, and also the Arise News of sponsoring Boko Haram. The federal government covered it in the dust. But Nandekano's crime and also that of Sunday Buho was to demand a referendum for their people. Nandekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra POB, has been detained by the Nigerian government since June 2021. Kano was extradited to Nigeria from Kenya in the Gandhi, where he was in transit after flying from his base in the United Kingdom. His detention has sparked widespread protest both within and outside Nigeria, with many condemned for his immediate release. There are several reasons why the federal government want to release Mazam Nandekano now. First, his continued detention violates his fundamental rights as enshrined in the Nigerian constitution and international law. Kano is being held incommunicado. He has been denied access to his lawyers, family, and doctors so many times, which constitutes a gross violation of his human rights. This is further worsened by the fact that he was abducted in Kenya, which violates the international law. Secondly, Kano's detention has led to increased tension and violence in the southeast region of Nigeria, particularly in Imo, Enugu, and Anambra states. The IPOP which Kano needs has been protesting and condemned for his release, which has led to clashes with security forces. There have been reports of human rights abuses by the security forces who are reportedly cracking down on IPOB members and sympathizers. The third reason why the federal government want to release him under Kano now is because Kano's agitation for Biafra is a symptom of the larger problem of marginalization and disenfranchisement of ethnic groups in Nigeria. The problem of ethnic and regional imbalances has been a perennial issue in Nigerian's political landscape, and it has led to sentiments of exclusion and discrimination among some ethnic groups. The government needs to address the issue head-on rather than resorting to force to silence dissenting voices. Furthermore, the detention of Mnamdekano has drawn international attention to the plight of the Igbo people in Nigeria. The Igbo, one of the largest ethnic groups, have a long history of marginalization and persecution, dating back to the Biafra War of 1967 to 1970. The international community has called for Kano's release and for the government to address the underlying issues that led to his agitation for Biafra. This case is going to go to an international forum. I'm taking the case to Geneva, the Working Group on International Arbitrary Detention, the International Criminal Court, and the International Court of Justice in The Hague, the United States Congress, to make clear that the Nigerian judiciary cannot be trusted. Sanctions are necessary in order to bring it into conformity with due process of law. And, and until that happens, uh, Nigeria will be a pariah state. Meanwhile, before the Christmas, the chairman of Hainese Indigbo, Mr. Iwe Yango, in a statement he personally signed and forwarded to our news correspondents on Tuesday night stressed that the release of Mazen Nandekano does not constitute any threat to Nigerian democracy or social cohesion given that a court had ordered his release. I hereby make a passionate appeal to our president, Senator Bonda Metinumbo, to assist to procure the release of Mazen Nandekano. This will be a highly prized give to all Igbos of Nigeria and all other Nigerians who are committed to a peaceful and secured country, he said. The incarceration of Kano has created an unnecessary excuse for terrorism in a region which has hated to live in peace and pursued their occupation wherever they are with prioritized zeal, Mr. Nguyenwo added. The organizing leader recalled that he brought up the matter during a joint meeting of the South, South, Southeast and Southwest and Middle Bed of Nigeria, where they unanimously endorsed that Mr. Kano should be released urgently. 
He recollected how many Igbos were impoverished after the infamous Nigerian Civil War between 1967 and 1970, which claimed the lives of many Nigerians and warned that everyone should avoid anything that could once again make the region a theater of war. I further advocate that in addition to the release of Mazenam de Kanon, the federal government should adopt a non-kinetic approach to the security problem in the southeast. I, in collaboration with the governors and other leaders in the southeast of Nigeria, call for amnesty to those who at the moment are expressing all forms of agitation in the southeast and that they will be given the opportunity to earn a dignified livelihood, Mr. Iwanyangon added in his statement. What does Biafra mean? It means freedom, liberty, fairness, equity, and justice. In practical terms, these are very good sounding words, mm -hmm. but in practical terms, what does Biafra mean? Confederation. So, a weak center, very, weak. very strong regions. Absolutely. Have you had a change of mind, therefore, about getting an independent Biafra? Because that's what I seem to be hearing. No, I've not changed my mind, no. An independent Biafra means going back to the way we were before the white man came. Okay, so you're not talking about a federation when you say a confederation. You're not talking about a federation as part of Nigeria. You're talking about total independence. Absolute independence. Complete independence. Yes. Now, is there anything that can happen? that will make you change your mind about this particular direction? No. So it is either Biafra or nothing else? Or death, yes. Or death? That's correct. Cool. If push comes to shove, yes. will you go to war? No, because truth is a far more potent and deadlier weapon than bullets and mortars. So truth. no war? You've yes. ruled out the... Absolutely, I don't believe war, no. No war. When I say Biafra or death, I'll keep pushing. Either I am alive, I die in the process, I won't stop. Allow me to repeat, if you don't mind. Had sovereign national conference been convened by the powers that be, where every ethnic national, I said every, I don't care if there are 600, I don't, I don't care. Everyone is All the 500 plus. Everyone mm -hmm. together to say, this is all, others can delegate, I don't know, uh, uh, powers to, to other people to attend on their behalf. Sit down to say, what type of country do we want? Sit down, discuss, agree. I can begin to perhaps submit to is your position. Is it too late? It is way too late. They've killed too many people. They've ruined too many lives. They've wasted too many souls. How do we bring those people back? If the federal government, given the agitation that is going on, becomes convinced that, you know what, these people have a point and um, it is time to actually address all these issues mm -hmm. and they begin to systematically address some of these issues, would you change your mind? No, because of the deceptions of the past. No trust? No trust. Aburi was there, it was negotiated. Nothing happened. 1968, if I recall. Mm -hmm. And the CONFAB report, what became of it? How about the three R's? Reconciliation, reconstruction, and heaven knows what else. What became of them? Nothing. Calabar seaport is not working. Can you tell me why it's not working? It's a seaport used by the colonial masters. Why is it not working today? How about Iguacha seaport? Why is it not being used? Why not worry? Why must we allow only Lagos to function as a viable seaport? In England, where I used to live, you had Liverpool, you had the Sun, which is Portsmouth, House Southampton. Everywhere, you had um, harbors and, and, and ports. So why must you have only one? I've heard people say these are very valid arguments mm -hmm. and that these are things that are to do with bad governance. So um, the average Biafran, to use your phrase, or Igbo man in the Igbo, um, is facing poverty much in the same way that the average guy in your base state is facing poverty. And so these are issues of governance. You don't agree with that? I agree completely. Okay. So if that is it, why isn't the agitation about tackling the problem, which is ensuring good governance, perhaps starting from locally? 
because part of the allegations against you is that you don't confront your political leaders in the East and you'd like to blame Abuja for everything. Mm -hmm. Because the way I would want to solve a problem is not how a Fulani man would want to solve it. You really believe I, this is I, an ethnic thing and the ethnic. approach is different? No, the approach is different. No, it's not ethnic. It is more to do with value system. Right. The way you may want to solve a problem could be markedly different from how I do mine. What is the geographical uh, makeup of Biafra? as far as you are concerned, this Biafra that you want. So for example, if we're doing a referendum, where will that referendum take place? Is it only the five? It's on, no. It's okay. It's on, which is River State by Elsa, Delta, Anambra, Imo, Enugu, Edoin, Cross River. Akwaibon? And Akwaibon, of course. Right. right. Those are the coasters. Basically... By Elsa? Yes, southeast and south south without Edo State. Without Edo State. That's correct. And then including Igeda, Idoma. Right, the Benways. That's so correct. the Igalas and part of the Absolutely. part of the Kogi yes. Kogi yes. State, right? Yeah. Niosom Wike, the mm. governor of Anambra, sorry, the governor the of River State, yeah. made a statement, I think it was yesterday or the day before yes, yesterday. Yes, and said, you know, you should not be including River State it's for and the people. River State people. To decide, not him. I can't decide for Biafrans. They have to go and vote and convince the whole world that they want Biafrans. It's not for instance, it's only one man, one man, one vote. The, what if they're not even willing to take part in the referendum? Because I've had people from the South South, for example, from Bielsa, I've had people from Cross River. I think um, there's a famous um, actress, Kate Henshaw, for example, mm -hmm. wrote a long piece about why people of the South South don't want to be dragged into a place called Biafra. You're saying, regardless of what they say, you want a referendum in those parts? Because I know the majority of the people want a referendum. I was in Iguacha yesterday. How do in, you know? I was there yesterday. I was in Iguacha yesterday. You call Port Harcourt. I was there yesterday. I should have been there to see what happened. Now, they were delighted to see me. I'm sure you know that. It's all over the place. They are very happy to see me. I bet Kate Henshaw wouldn't get such reception were she to go to She's a big, popular Nollywood actress. I wouldn't necessarily... I, I can, no, I wouldn't I'm necessarily. telling you, if I go to her village, mm. people will turn out to see me, mother will turn out to see her.